Taipei, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. For the few uh, who don't know you, could you introduce yourself, please, in a few words? Well, um, I'm a country music singer from the United States. Uh, uh, probably an old hat. I've been doing this for 20 years. I was on RCA Records. I was on Lyric Street Records. I'm now on my own label, uh, Nippet Records. Uh, that's a pretty brief description. I'm kind of the blue-collar music guy of country music, I think. Okay. Um, how would you describe the country music that you play? Um, I think it's, uh, uh, it's very blue-collar, very working-class people music. A lot of my songs, uh, not necessarily the usual love songs. It's uh, it's more about lifestyle, and that's that's probably the difference in than myself and, and most other country entertainers. I know that you are a songwriter, right? Yes. How do you write a new song? I, you know, uh, my my song ideas come from everyday uh, events, usually in conversation. Um, one went across my mind while I was sitting up there during the interview. And I thought, is that a song idea or not? You know, and I'm thinking, should I write this down or shouldn't I write this down? So that's where they come from. Usually somebody, people want to be colorful in, in speaking. So they use cliches and things like that. And you realize, wow, that, that sounds like a cool song. That might make a great song, a hook to a song or a title. So that's usually where they start. Okay. Uh, what's the more exciting for you? Uh, write song, play in front of an audience, or record a new album? You know, I, without a doubt, playing live is the most exciting. Now, the most rewarding to me would be writing a song. It's it's uh, when it is spawned. You know, it's 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 just nobody has has done anything to it. There's it, there's no commercialism when you're writing that song. You know, it's it's fresh. It's new. And, uh, and, and I think that's it, very exciting for me. It's, it's that point of when I've created something and it hadn't been touched by the rest of the world or the business. It's just strictly a song just like I think it should be. And, and, and at that time, until you, till you take it to your publisher or till you take it to the record label or till you, uh, it, it's, 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 it's in its purest form and it's, and it's beautiful. And that's what, that's what I love about writing songs. And that's what's so exciting. You will perform tonight for the Festival of Antalakian, yes. the Music Festival. Yes. Uh, what does this event mean to you? Uh, the, the chance to play here yes. tonight? Oh, this is really special for me because the album that I'm on right now, our latest album is called Aaron Tipping in Overdrive. And it's a uh, it's an album of truck driving songs from the past of country music. So I think a lot of these truckers and bikers out here that have been listening to country music for a long time are going to recognize these songs, and it's going to be one big sing-along all night long. Will you be interesting to, to come to France, you know, for play, to play in France? Absolutely. I, you know, I, I, hope that, I hope that this is going to be the beginning of playing all over Europe, you know. I'd... If someone is watching Quapon Festival sur our zone of, in, of Aki Blues, just have to call, you know, I try. <laughs> good, good, good. So uh, you just uh, you are here to promote your last album in Overdrive. Yes. Um, could you tell us what this album really mean to you? Well, me being a former truck driver, uh, this is my tribute to everybody that's still out there driving trucks and coming over these mountains today. Oh, I, I remember those days of driving grades up and down hills. It's really tough. So it makes me think about them. Plus. The country music fan remembers these songs from years past, and it's and it's great to go back and reminisce those moments and, and hear a different voice do it. Um, what's the story behind the song "Prisoner of the Highway"? A prisoner's highway. I think to start with, I'm a Ronnie Millsap fan, I'm, and, and so uh, that was a song that was uh, written quite some time back that I remembered as as a truck driver. And "Prisoner of the Highway," I think of. Sometimes those guys and gals can get that feeling because driving a truck is not just uh, the over-the-road driver is not just uh, you know drive it to uh, drop a load, look at your watch, hey, it's time to go home. You know, it's not like that. You know, in, in our country where you know uh, a guy starts out on the East Coast and he goes all the way to the West Coast and maybe down south now, maybe it may be it may be 20 days before he comes back home. 
and he's locked into making sure that he makes that load to the next place because his truck payment is resting on making sure he makes that next load. That's when you become a prisoner of the highway. And that song describes it perfectly. Okay. Um, each time that I meet the stage, you know, I really like the, the USA. Um, I like listening songs such as You've Got to Stand for Something Thank you. and Star and Stripe, you know, that's one of the best songs ever for me. Thank you. And is it, is it important for you to write songs with such strong message, you know, uh, strong, strong lyrics? You know, I've, I've, uh, I've had to suffer uh, some criticism over my lyrics and, and I confront and direct uh, a subject, you know, so I, I, I've been punished for it on occasions, but, you know, I, I, that's what I was speaking of a while ago, the fact that, that uh, when you write something and it's pure and it's what it is and uh, no excuses, you know, that's, that's, that makes a great song. And, and obviously when you tell me things like the two you mentioned, that makes me know that, that, I, that I got the point across, and that's, that's what's most important. That, that just made me uh, the, the value of the USA you know, when I was over here, so it's, it's really great. You know. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, imagine I want to be a country singer. Okay. Any advice for me? Ah, yes. The best advice I can give. Make sure you love it. Because uh, when I moved to Nashville, um, I loved it, but I didn't know how much I was going to have to love it before I'd become successful. There were times when I had the door slammed in my face. I had publishers say, that song ain't happening. You know, and it was a bad song and I, it wasn't good. And, you know, and, and me learning and, and learning more about it and the study and the craft of songwriting. It took a lot of love to see through to the other side of that. And, and uh, some other time I'll tell you the long story about, about me and I almost leaving Nashville because I thought I couldn't cut the mustard. But I didn't, I stayed. But anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's a long process. So every time a youngster asks me, uh, what's your best advice for being in country music? I said, make sure you're in love with the music because you're going to need that love. Okay. Uh, each time I interview someone, I ask that person what she think about another artist, you know, another people. So for you, it would be a country music artist. So what do you think about uh, Toby Chief? Oh, Toby? Uh, I, uh, you know, me and Tobe worked together for years in his younger days. So he used to open my shows. And uh, he's, he's a big fan of our troops, and, and I am too. You know, I, I visit our troops quite often. And uh, he, he's very supportive of them, and I appreciate that about him. Uh, musically, it's... Uh, it's, he's got some pretty cool songs. He's got some I, I didn't quite understand. Um, How do you like me now? You know, the first thing I learned in, in country music was you never put the woman down, ever. Boy, he did it and had major success. So he broke a milestone in country music. Okay. Um, what could we hope for you in the future? Uh, you know, I'm returning quite a bit to songwriting. I still want to do albums, I still want to tour, but I've really started to return back to songwriting, going back down to Nashville, writing, you know, during the week when I'm in town. And uh, I think uh, hopefully you'll hear more penned songs by me, but maybe not me singing them as the feature song. You know, someone else would record that song. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of heading in that direction. I hadn't done that in a long time, and I want to get back to doing that. Favorite country music artist? Uh, favorite country music singer, uh, Craig Morgan. Craig has great songs, well-written songs. You know, he's and that's that's what I look for. That's those are the those are the artists that are uh, that are that are going to hold on to the roots of country music so that it, it has longevity. I think those guys will be the will be the ones that do that. I think Craig Morgan's a good example. Okay. Um, can you say a few words to your friend? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, thanks so much for all the years uh, that I've had uh, uh, entertaining uh, you folks. Thanks so much for loving the music. It, it, it means everything to me. On behalf of me and my family, thank you very much. Thank you so much. My pleasure.